Welcome to Jackie Land. Yeah. Good morning, everybody. I am in my in my line. I'm in the line at Starbucks this morning and uh, getting coffee before I go to work at the salon. And I feel better today than I did yesterday. Um, told Quentin the news, um, which I'll eventually share. Just not ready. Um, and he took it like I thought he would. Just very supportive and understanding and. Um, we don't have a solution and we won't for a while, but we are definitely praying about it and we know that God will bring a solution and a better solution than, you know, plan A. So, um, I feel very hopeful about it, very positive about it and it's, I just know God's going to work it out and, and it's going to be better than I thought it was. Um, so yeah, I feel, uh, ready for my day for sure. Uh, when my alarm went off this morning, I definitely was like, oh, I'm going to keep sleeping. Um, with the whole like energy thing I take before my workout, you're supposed to take it 30 minutes before, which I find to be a problem if you work out in the morning. Cause usually if I work out in the morning, I want to work out before I even have breakfast. But if I'm up for 30 minutes then I'm gonna start getting hungry. So to then start my workout, I'm gonna be like hungry in my workout and I'm not gonna be able to perform like to my best. So that's a little, I don't know, I haven't figured that out yet. And I also don't wanna wake up 30 minutes earlier if I like have to be somewhere just to get that going. So yeah, I don't really know how to make that work well because if I have to wake up 30 minutes earlier just to get that in my system, like, I'm gonna work out just only in the evenings then I guess or the mornings that I have to work out um, because I don't have time later in the day and I know that then I guess I'll just do it without it um, as it is it's hard too because I'll take it and I'll be like okay I want to work out now and you're supposed to wait 30 minutes so it's kind of technically fully working its thing like midway through my workout which I don't know. So, yeah. You're going quick today. I am a fan. Awesome. Like, I'm about to be at the window already, and I just pulled in here. That's crazy. My makeup is, like, on fleek today. Feeling you. Yas. I'm really feeling my makeup today. Sweet. Hopefully, I won't get shampoo all over my face like a couple weeks ago. That was not a good moment. I don't know what my books are at the salon. I was going to call last night and then, you know, stuff happened. So I was like, mm, I'll just, I'll just be surprised. <laughs> so hopefully everything's booked correctly and I have a full day and, um, I would imagine I have a full day. Like I look ahead when I'm there, but if I'm only there once a week, things can happen during the week where people like cancel or reschedule or whatever. So there's a few new like uh, Too Faced products that hopefully my store has already. I think they either already launched or they're about to launch. And they have this, um, I think it's a self tanner, but it's in a super cute like hula skirt looking bottle. Um, and I want to like look over it, read it, possibly get it. And then they have another, I think it's called Royalty Oil, I think. But it's kind of like, um, like a dry shine oil. I don't know if you've seen those before. They come in a bottle and you shake them and they look like a shimmery brown, um, oil basically but you just kind of like rub it on your skin and it gives you like a nice glowy sheen so we're about to that point where um, I want to start doing my fake tanning again um, I don't I don't know like there's I wanted to do it like Friday going into a Saturday or something so it's like a fresh tan for work at the salon but the timing of that is just so awkward and like you, um, with the kind I take, or pretty much any kind I think, you have to uh, wash it off in the morning, which isn't that big of a deal. I mean, I can do that, but like Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, when I make early starts, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do that at night and then take a shower that early in the morning and 
you know, I usually, I'm a bath person, I take baths at night, so I'm like, uh, I, I can't figure out the timing of when I want to do it, and then the days I'm off would make sense too, except those are days like when Quentin's home, and I want to do certain things that you can't let sunscreen bake on your body doing, so you know so I just can't figure out like what is good timing to make this work but I want it I want it happening already I don't know and then there's also the maintenance of it like once you start you kind of have to keep doing it or like it starts looking weird um, I remember a couple years ago I had self like self tanners I was called on and um, I thought it had faded and we were back to like my natural skin color until it faded a little more and then I it started getting a little patchy this was a different kind I used to use and I was like oh my god like that's my skin <laughs> like when you see the comparison of what your self tanner is versus like what your skin looks like before like I'm not a pasty person I'm pretty naturally like olive skin toned um, and I tan like naturally very easily and I rarely burn except for that one time in Hawaii when I was like I don't burn I only tan and then I became a lobster and peeled on the plane home that was horrible but um I yeah I just I don't know I'm not like I'm not that light skinned naturally but when you compare it, it's kind of like one of those things, if you don't have something to compare it to, you don't really realize what color you are. Because when I first put sun tanner on, I'm like, man, I'm, like I feel like it's not that dark. Like I want it to be darker. I wish it was darker. But if I were gonna compare it to what my skin looked like before, it would be really dark. So, I don't know. I don't know. There's another part of me that's just like, just be you, Jackie. Just be you this year. And I'm like, I'm white. <laughs> Quentin's like, I don't understand you white people. Why you gotta like fake tan and all that? Like, I don't get it. I'm like, cause you're black. You don't have to get it. Like, it's just let it be our thing. <laughs> Trust me, it's nothing to be jealous over. So I am almost there and I will talk to you guys later after work and check in with you later. Bye. Okay, well, we have quite a change of plans today. So I went in and my first person, um, not my first person, my second person on my books had canceled via text because they can do that. So I don't know why, but they were canceled. And then within five or ten minutes of me being there, my first person of the day called because she was sick and canceled. So both of those were like my whole day's appointments because they were big services. So my whole day canceled and um, I had one person who called uh, and I, like I wasn't open so they left a message saying like if there were openings to call them to fit them in. So I called them like right away when I knew the first person had canceled first person but second appointment of the day and told her like hey I have an opening today at this time blah 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 well I finally decided because two other girls in the salon got no showed and canceled on there were so many openings and my whole day was gone that I was like well I'm just gonna like cut my losses and leave I guess because there's no point in if there's so many openings the odds of me getting the opening and however long it would take it's just it wasn't gonna be worth it so right after I clocked out my person that I called to like try and make an appointment for today had called back. I was like, well, um, I'm already leaving. So, um, I scheduled her for a couple weeks out, but that, that freaking sucks. So now I, uh, have the whole day without Quentin to do whatever my little heart desires, I guess. So, well, it's kind of poopy. And I was in the store long enough to get the fill of the drama that I guess has been happening, which I used to not have to partake in, but would hear all about. But because I'm only there once a week now, I get to avoid a lot of it, which is fabulous. And I can kind of like hear bits and pieces, but not be like in it, you know? So I'm gonna go into Old Navy because it's right next to where I work and see what they got going and uh, 
might take you with me. We'll see, we'll see. Bye. So that was a really successful trip. Um, I ended up getting another pair of darker shorts because the ones I got the other week, like two weeks ago, um, they're, they're good and they work and I'll still wear them, but um, I don't really like the color of denim they are. Like they're too light for like my skin tone and what I like to wear because I usually wear like darker shirts or I don't know, I just like more of a true like denim color and they're really light. So they didn't have the color or the type I wanted before they didn't have in my size. So they did today, they had a lot more than they did last time. So I got another pair of those and then the girl, one of the girls I used to work with at the salon, she would always wear this t-shirt dress and I always wanted one whenever she wore it. I was like, oh, I need one of those. But anytime I went in to Old Navy, they didn't have any of them. Or if they did, they were like all smalls and I'm clearly not a small. So I was like, oh. but I was in there today and they had a bunch of them and in like different colors and a few prints and they had my size in all of them. And I was like, oh my God. So I ended up getting a black one, a gray one, and then a white and orange and a blue and white. Those two were like striped. The other, the gray and the black are like solid. So I'm really excited about those. They're like really comfy. They're, they hit at a good length. Like they're not too short. Um, I could wear them a bunch of different ways and um, they'll be good for summer, but also I could wear the black one to work and um, I could wear like leggings under them when it gets colder or like just a lot of different ways I could wear them. Um, they definitely are something that at the shape I am now, I'll probably have to wear like a spank under them or like, you know, something like for if I'm wearing it out. But if I'm wearing it like around the house or like, you know, on a day off or whatever, then I'll just wear like just that and it'd be really comfy and an appropriate length where I'm not like constantly pulling it down and uncomfortable and all that. So I feel like those are sometimes nicer than like maxi dresses because although maxi dresses are nice, I feel like sometimes they get hotter than like if you were to just wear shorts or a skirt or something like it's nice that they're flowy but they can kind of like trap some air in there if you know what I'm saying so successful trip and there were some really good deals going on and all that and now I'm trying to contemplate what I want to do like I looked at the bronzers I was talking to you about this morning that were in my store um so the first one it was actually just a just a bronzer like a body bronzer not a tinted or not a self tanner that one is actually from benefit the one that has a little hula skirt and it was alright I didn't think it was dark enough for my skin tone like it kind of looked like a tiny bit darker I don't know if you can tell I put it like on this arm and then here's my other arm here's my other arm you can like barely tell um, if you could even tell so that wasn't I was like Pff. and then the the like oil shimmer stuff that's not in yet and that is from Too Faced but they don't have it yet so if we're even getting it maybe I could order it or something I don't know the problem with those is like if their smell isn't right I'm like Ugh, I, don't want that. I don't want that in my body all day plus if it transfers then I don't want to like stain my clothes or whatever whatever so hmm I'll definitely have time to work out today. <laughs> As you probably see, I just went to the um, cosmetology licensed beauty supply store. I was out of shampoo and conditioner and I needed those. And then I'm very low on one of the leave-in oils I use. So I got that. And then when I'm in there, I always get this lotion. Which, where are you, lotion? Which I'm not sure if they sell anywhere else, but it is... I don't know even how to say this name, but it's the Vanilla Bean and Sugar Scent, 
and oh my god it is like the softest body lotion or body butter I've ever used and it's so like it smells so good and I love it so I always have to get that one in there and then uh, they had one lotion that I like wanted really bad it was like a pineapple and something scented lotion it smelled so good for like wit winter for summer but they um they were out of it they only had the tester so I was like um, but I also I wax my brows and my lip and then I wax Quentin's brows too which he actually gets compliments on funny story the first time I waxed his brows he was like not into it but he let me do it and then complained afterwards but then as people started complimenting him um, he like started liking that and then when they started growing back he eventually humbled himself and came back to me and was like can you wax my brows again? I'm like, oh, oh, I thought she didn't like it, huh? So, obviously I handled that well because I was very humble. <laughs> All up in his face about it. Um, so now he like, it gets to the point where he's like, no, I need you to like wax my brows. And he's got a sick little unibrow that he'll like tweeze at and like, just let me wax it. It'll come in like better and like stay out longer because you're ripping it out. Well, I guess, I guess if you're if you're um, tweezing, you are taking it out at the follicle too. But I don't know. I just want to wax that. As I, so we're out of wool low, out of or low on our wax strips. So I got more of those. So yeah, I'm on my way home now. Not sure what I'm gonna do, but at least I'll get to be with my little fur babies and relax and work out and I'm not sure yet. I'll let y'all know. Okay. Bye. Beat drop to the day I die. done some editing and I had lunch which I had a couple hard-boiled eggs and an apple and I've just kind of been hanging out watching YouTube and stuff I think I'm gonna do my workout now which I'm kind of like about cuz like my makeup looked so pretty today and I know that once I sweat all over it I'm gonna have to wash it off so I'm like Ugh. but I'm like really motivated to do it now so I guess technically I'll do it in 30 minutes because I'm going to take some of the energy stuff and that's going to take 30 minutes to kick in. So I'm doing chisel agility today and it's going to be with Autumn because she is the chisel and I'm pretty excited about it. I think it's going to be really good. I have loved every single workout. Like they're all hard and I have like really pushed through all of them but I have loved them and I feel like I'm already feeling stronger and results and like that's the whole point right so I'm gonna do that and I will probably check in with you next after my workout and tell you how it was and then maybe then I should exfoliate and shave and tan mm. I feel like that'd be a good plan. The only thing is that I can't sweat for the next four to eight hours. How long does my stuff develop for? I don't know. I will let you know if I decide to do that because I will maybe film part of it or after or I don't know. I'll let you know. Talk to you later. Bye. Whew, that
that was a good workout. And as predicted, I am definitely glistening. You see that? So, so my makeup is uh, ruined. <laughs> um, I think I am going to go ahead. Oh, the workout. Didn't even tell you about it. It was really good. It was hard, but really fun. It was agility, so there was a lot of like jumping and squats and lunges and fast feet and all kinds of stuff. It was really fun. Um, so I am going to go ahead and do my tanning stuff, which means I need to do a scrub. And um, I think I'm just going to use like sugar as an exfoliant, which I normally do. I usually do like sugar and an oil and sometimes honey. Um, and just like mix it together but I feel like if I use oil it's gonna ruin the tan so I think I'm just gonna use um, just granulated sugar um, I don't want to use honey because it's gonna make it not work either I think I'll just use sugar um, yeah so I'm going to take a bath exfoliate shave all that get prepared um, let my body dry for a little bit because I'm probably going to be producing sweat for a little bit. <laughs> uh, drink my recovery and then um, maybe I'll show you what it looks like afterwards. Maybe. Well, it's like the, um, while the, the like block is on it, which shows you where it is. One thing, <laughs> I don't know how this is going to go because I thought I had more exfoliant gloves, not, um, not exfoliant, like tanning gloves. Sassing. I thought I had more of those, but I guess I don't because I can't find them. So I think I'm just going to try and do it with like regular gloves so it doesn't stain my hands. But like, we'll see how that goes. I'll let you know. <laughs> okay, so I did something different with my exfoliant today than I've ever done, and I think it turned out really well. Um, I took just my normal like body wash and straight up granulated sugar and just like poured that into my hand and scrubbed with that and I feel like it worked really well because it was gritty enough to be a good exfoliant but when you're about to self tan you don't want to put on like mix an oil with it or something like that because it will absorb to your skin and then you'll have issues with the tan absorbing and tanning correctly so I did that my tan is on sorry blizzard's barking the windows and doors are open so he's like what are you doing at my house but it's like everybody's house. He doesn't know that. <laughs> so anyway, the tanner's on. I did it only on my arms and my legs. I just put it on so it has a little bit of a block on it right now. And then um, it takes about two, no it doesn't. It takes four to six hours for it to develop. And then um, when you rinse the color block off, it's like not as dirty looking. <laughs> so I wanted to show you what tanners I use in case you were curious. Um, I've had really good luck with them and this is what they are. So it is the uh, St. Morris. Um, I normally use the medium one and this is like a lotion. It goes on really really well. Um, this is what I normally use and they only, my store only carries it in medium unfortunately. They do make a dark but mine doesn't have it. So last summer I ended up getting this one which is the mousse version and it comes in dark which is why I got it and um, it's it's nice I prefer the application of the lotion but the mousse is good and and the mousse is what I use today um, because it's my first time so I was like well might as well go darker and get like a good base going so that's what I use and then um, I have in the past taken the lotion version and mixed it with lotion like actual body lotion and um, it's really nice to like keep your tan for longer and it's also nice um, if like it's starting to fade you're on like the last day and you want to make it a little darker but not like too dark um, it's nice to like mix it like half and half or more of this less of the lotion depending on how dark you're wanting to look um, that's nice it's not really a possibility to do it with the mousse because it's a mousse and not like a cream lotion consistency. So I don't think that that would work. But yeah, those are what I use and I just wanted to let y'all know. And I normally use a mitt with them, but today I use just plain old plastic gloves. And it seemed to work pretty well. It blended out pretty nicely. Like I'm not, I mean, I guess we'll see when it's done. But I feel like there's not really streaks anywhere. So I'm pretty 
I think I'm pretty happy with how it is. Obviously, like I said, we'll see in four to six hours what I really think about it. But um, till then, I'm going to try not to sweat because that will mess it up. And I'm going to try and avoid Blizzard's tongue because it's like he has a spider sense and just knows, like, Mom has tanner on. I'm going to lick her leg. And then I have, like, a strip of not tanned <laughs> area. I'm like, really? Did you have to do that? Really? Oh, and also something I've never done. Um, if you watch my chatty get ready with me, I was, um, bringing my bronzer, like, underneath to kind of, like, take away this for now till it's, like, gone for real. So I tried something which I normally don't do, and I brought the tanner all the way up to that line. So hopefully it'll kind of like do the bronzing for me because of that and then I won't have to do that as much or at all. We'll see how dark it gets. We'll see how it works. But I was like, well, might as well try it. Life's all about risk, right? <laughs> so uh, yeah, uh, I don't imagine I'm doing anything really exciting for the rest of the day because I'm obviously going to try and just sit in this tan. So I am going to sign off for tonight and I will see you all tomorrow.